in the, in the form of the Jets we'll talk about. Zach Wilson enters his second season as the Jets quarterback coming off what was I think by everyone's account a very impressive offseason. They had a great draft. They spent a bunch of money and at least to this point it would appear wisely and in the areas of concern in free agency. And so we'll sort of frame this as a change my mind but I'm, I'm going to put it in the form of a question. Look. Anyone who watches this show or has paid any attention to me over the years, you know where my loyalties are and you know what my concerns are. And so I'll just ask you guys the question that I feel like everyone keeps asking me. Is it possible that they've actually gotten it right? Is it possible that the New York Jets, the team that basically Tannenbaum since you left, have done nothing but gotten it wrong? Is it possible they've gotten it right? No. <laughs> Zach Wilson was last in the NFL in completion percent. Unless he has a Josh Allen, New York rise and improvement in completion percent. When you complete 55.6% of your passes, you can't win football games. I agree. They had a great offseason. They had a great draft. All the other pieces are there, Greedy. But when you're 32 out of 32 quarterbacks in completing the football in a passing league, it's really hard to win. This guy was drafted second overall yes, ahead of all these other guys. Obviously, the, he knows how to do this or has, has some ability to do it. They surrounded him with people who were unable to help him do it last year. Are you telling me that you have given up? It sounds to me like you're suggesting that the, the biggest, I understand the biggest question mark is the quarterback, but it sounds to me like you're already saying you don't think he can do it. Well, it's a great of incomplete. He's only going through his second year. I, I've said that. I'll say now. I would have taken Mac Jones over him, and at best, he's the third best quarterback in the AFC. So while there's a lot of other really good pieces around him, when your quarterback struggles to complete the ball, it just puts a ceiling on your offense. Doesn't sit well with me that that was the most definitive answer you gave me all day. Right? By the way, we're sitting here 50 minutes. 50 minutes I'm asking him question after question. And you're equivocating and you've got a lot to say. And then the Jets, no, done, boom. And I, without even a thought given to it, Graziano, yell at him. I, I think it's, you know, you say grade of incomplete. That's the way I look at the Jets, right? Because they bring in Zach Wilson, who, a uh, young uh, rookie quarterback last year, also not super experienced coming out of college, right? Didn't, didn't have, you know, COVID and whatever else happened uh, as they were finishing college. The coaching staff, incredibly inexperienced, right? Robert Sala, a first-time head coach. Mike LaFleur, a first-time offensive coordinator. There was not a veteran presence in that locker room to help Zach Wilson or on that coaching staff. So they're all learning together. So I think you almost have to look at this as, as another building year. I know the coaching staff was happy that they were able to get Zach Wilson, you know, a little under control as the season went along, not play so much hero ball down the field, play a little safer, but they're going to have to evolve beyond that, and, uh, and, and it remains to be seen whether the entire group can do that together. I would also like a meeting with whoever it was that put together that reel of highlights <laughs> from Zach Wilson. He, he did have six good plays last year. Why didn't we show those? Hey, Sancho, go. <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm with Mike T on this one, Greeny. I'm sorry. That real was just what happened last year. They were they were 32nd in defense last year. Robert Saleh is a defensive-minded coach. I get excited about the moves that the New York Jets made. I get excited about Garrett Wilson at receiver. I get excited about Brees Hall, Jermaine Johnson. All these moves get me excited. What doesn't get me excited is about the division they play in. They're playing in a division where the New England Patriots, coached by Bill Belichick, is the second-best team in that division. And then go to their schedule. Schedule. They got Ravens, Browns, Bengals, Steelers, Dolphins. They got Patriots in there. They got the Bills in there. They go the Patriots again. This schedule gets me frustrated if I'm a Jets <laughs> fan, as excited as I can be. Right? Dolphins, Packers, Broncos I left out. This is not an exciting first 10 games. And so for me, yes, you're getting better if you're the New York Jets, but what does better mean when you're playing against the Bills, you're playing against the Patriots, and then the Dolphins are also getting better. <laughs> that, that's reasonable. I, I think that Progress has to be measured uh, creatively or well, incrementally, <laughs> but I think that they, they could be markedly better without the record being uh, that obviously so. What? So what would make you happy if we're sitting here in Jet? What would make you happy as a Jet fan? I mean, I, let, let's not even Five imagine times. things that might make me happy. Is it, is it, is it, is it, those things are obviously I've long since given up on them happening. No, I think that they could show market improvement. They could show that the quarterback looks like he was the right pick when they made him. And they could show that they are, I think, to your point, a year away from winning really significant games. Boy, that schedule. <laughs> the schedule is brutal. They open with the entire AFC North. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.